It's been a little over 20 years ago. It started out, it was a quick relationship. Um, it started out with him being very controlling, very wanting to know where I was all the time. Um, and it really, it didn't begin to get physical until we got married, but there were signs of that beforehand. He was very isolating. Um, he would get me away from my parents, away from my friends. Most of the time, the injuries, the bruises would be in areas that others cannot see. They'd be covered with clothing. Um, I would wear scarves around my neck if I had finger marks or bruises on my neck. Makeup would cover some of the rest. Um, there were a couple of injuries that could not be covered, and that was usually excused by I ran into the door, or I hit my head on the car door, I fell down the steps. I always had an excuse or a reason. I went to work and I went home. I really didn't have any friends during that relationship, but it was it was my mom, my sister. They would ask me. I had a bloody lip one time when I went there. It was pretty swollen, had a black eye, and so, oh, I fell down, I fell down. I ran into the door again. You know how clumsy I am, and they, would, they kept questioning it, and they knew, and they say now, you know, we knew it was happening. We just didn't know what to do and we knew it had to be your decision and your choice to leave. We couldn't make you leave. The time that it changed, the last night that we were together, he um, sent my daughter, my oldest daughter, she was three at the time, next door to stay with neighbors, and he came in, and it became very violent to the point where he had a knife at my throat after he had beaten me, and my daughter came running in at three years old, screaming. What's going on? What's happening, Mommy? Are you okay? And once I was free from him, I held my youngest daughter. She was two months old and laid on top of my oldest daughter while he held a shotgun on us. And I knew then it's either leave or, or we were going to die. It takes a big incident like the one that I had to get a victim to leave. They have to hit that, that wall to finally realize that it's, it's time to go. It's time to leave. This isn't going to get better.